Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to be watching Doom 2 to see how accurate the technology in the movie really is. A friend of mine had suggested that I do a Bollywood movie for one of these commentary videos, and I didn't give it any sort of serious consideration till about 15 minutes ago, <laughs> and here we are. This is a pretty common like stunt that's done in a bunch of movies and yeah it's actually very possible to just walk on top of a moving train and not immediately fall off. You and the train are both moving at the exact same speed. Even while you're inside the train sitting in the seats you're moving as fast as the train is moving. The only real danger here is if the train suddenly stops or accelerates. Then he would probably be gone. When you're driving your car at 50 miles an hour, you and the driver's seat are also going at 50 miles an hour. And you don't actually feel that speed until you hit the brakes and then your body kind of moves forward and that's why we have seatbelts. <laughs> Using wheels to move vertically on any sort of surface is one of the worst ways I think to go about doing it because you don't get enough friction between the tires and the actual surface you're moving on if you're just going straight up. So I, I actually can't explain how this thing is able to move at all. I mean the most efficient way of doing it would probably be like some sort of suction cups or something like that. But I don't, I don't know how you could possibly build up enough friction to actually like go at that speed and go straight up something. I feel like it, it just, I don't even know how you would design something like that. A hologram is basically another image that you produce from reflecting light off of a film. But the way that he placed that projector to actually create that image, I believe is possible, but not with just one. You would need to have multiple projectors all around the room because you can't, ref like there's nothing to reflect off of a surface to create that image of a 3D hologram. Also the placement of it was pretty awful. I mean most projectors of any kind are put where people can't interfere with them. And he put it in probably the worst place you could possibly have it because you can just walk right in front of it and someone will cancel it out. But that is the challenge here is like making a holographic projection where there's no screen or where there's no place to actually gather up all of the um, Im reflections of the images that have bounced off of a film. Let's get, let's get. coolest thing about what we just saw is that you can actually make those gloves right now. Pretty much what he's using are like electromagnetic gloves, which I mean you can make that like literally right now. All, all you're essentially doing is taking a magnetic coil and you're attaching it to, I don't know, just some sort of like metal rod and you're connecting the end of it to a battery. Like that that's all you need. When two objects are magnetically attracted to each other, it's not like one of them is doing all the work. When you have two magnets that are north and south pole facing each other, both of them are moving at the same speed towards each other. What's happening here is as he's magnetically pulling himself to a car, the car is actually slightly shifting towards his direction as well. Now granted the mass of the car is so much more than he is, so you don't actually see the car moving very much, but he can definitely connect to any vehicle he wants. The other challenge here is you have to have a strong enough magnet and a strong enough battery, as well as you need to like wrap um, multiple, it'd be like a copper coil, and you need to have a whole lot of um, like wrapping around this whatever, whatever metal rod you decided to put onto it. But I mean, these are just things of how to make a more powerful electromagnet. And as far as uh, turning off, because like when he bounces from one car to another, like one glove turns off and the other one turns on. And how that's possible is just putting in a switch. Like, and I'm, I'm almost certain like, I'm, I'm, if you just look it up on like YouTube or like some sort of like uh, stacked overflow, I'm sure people have built something like this already. Like it's a pretty easy thing to do. Uh -huh. Don't even think about it. Hmm? 
Yeah. Infrared beams. इन्हें छूते ही का लाम बचेगा. Thirty seconds. और सारे कहाँ जिया? Humans can see between 400 and 700 nanometers wavelength of light. Um, fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's between 400 and 700 nanometers. And infrared beams are outside of this range, which is why we can't see it with the naked eye. But yeah, like if you buy certain lenses that allow you to see these different wavelengths of light, I mean, this is very reasonable. Like you can for sure do this. I think it would be more red than green. But I don't think that really makes much of a difference here. In some movies, you see people like spraying something to make all the lasers appear, and I believe that's actually possible, but only under like perfectly ideal conditions, only using like a certain kind of spray and a certain kind of laser. In general, just using like some sort of um, corrective lenses, you'll be able to see all different sort of wavelengths of light, like infrared, UV, whatever you want. See the pillars? Electromagnetic stunners. I love these things. ये छोटे से points काफी deadly. जैसे तुम तलवार उठा भी तो इनमें से किस्म का current निकलेगा. Around 2,000 volts. आंखें या तो जेल में खुलेंगी या hospital. So first thing I would say is current is not measured in volts. It's measured in amperes. Something that people commonly get wrong. 2,000 volts sounds like a lot. But it's not actually the amount of voltage that kills you, it's how much current goes through your body. Like, if you have 0.1 amps go through you, um, you're, you're dead. <laughs> like, I think that's done for a human body. Now, Ohm's law states that V equals IR, which means voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. And the human skin has some sort of internal, internal resistance. I'm not actually sure what it is, to be exact. But using Ohm's law, like, V equals IR, right? So if your resistance is let's say just 1,000 ohms, which it might be a little less than that, but if there's 2,000 volts coming out of those and your resistance is 1,000 ohms, that means there's two amps of current that will be going through you and you're not gonna feel anything after that hits. I don't know what's actually coming out of those pillars, but I don't believe you can actually wirelessly send, in fact, yeah, no, there's no way that you can wirelessly send uh, current or voltage like that and actually kill somebody. The only thing I can think about here would be some sort of electromagnetic induction, which is pretty much where you can induce a magnetic field without physically touching another object. And this is possible, but it's through conductors. Like It's kind of like when you take a magnet and then you put it through like a metal ring or a metal coil, for example, that is how you can induce a current, but you can't do that through a human body. Like, we are not con good conductors of electricity. And if anything, like, when it shoots, it's probably gonna hit the sword <laughs> because the, the sword is probably pure metal. And even if you were to grab onto that sword, it wouldn't, the electricity wouldn't just surge through you like that. Yeah, these um, pillars and the scare of being electrified, that it, it, that's not gonna happen. This is a movie that I first saw when I was in, like, middle school or something like that, but it's still really fun to watch. When it comes to the technology and the science scenes, it's fairly inaccurate. Um, there's just a lot of like key parts of the movie where they rely on certain technology to work and it's it doesn't work the way that they showed in the movie. But the other really cool thing is when he used the electromagnetic gloves to just fly in between traffic. I haven't seen any other movie do something like that and that's something that you can very much do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, just give me a thumbs up, and whatever you want to see next, put it in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay fresh. Stay golden.